Steve-o. Yeah. Steve yes, sir. What are we up to today? We are going to move the uh, track to the vent track. Yes. Note the hat. Yes, very nice um, hat. All the attachments. Yep. And your new John Deere uh, riding lawnmower, Zippy. Yep. yep. Moving into the new pole barn. <sighs> so we're. I just put two by twelves along the back wall so okay. that when we put on and off attachments, we don't push them through the back of the new pole barn. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, because that'd be something we would do. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna lay some, uh, just some. Uh, half inch oriented uh what is it oriented strand board yeah. yeah osb on the ground so that the implements don't go directly on the brand new cement great and so then we get to put our cars back and then in the we garage. can put our cars back in as uh we at some point might actually have uh winter yeah although we figure that since we've got the new vent track with the uh deep snow snow blower attachment yeah we probably won't get any snow this year mm -hmm. Just putting these down so that we've got a little space between the freshly poured concrete. It's been almost a month, so it's pretty cured. But since uh, since it's still new and it's been you know cold, I just want to put something where there's a little bit of air between the OSB and the cement. Let it cure and dry out. So that's why these are going down. Move this into there and we're just going to line them along the back. When we actually have tools and we can cut, we'll cut around the 6x6 six six boards so that it can fit flush to the back of the uh, pole barn. But for now, we're just going to throw it up there and be done. One more. One more. Action shot, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right. Not bad. Great. Now this is for the implements? This is for the implements. All right. Let's do it. All right. So that's the piece of tape that said that we bought it, huh? Yeah. Here yeah. she is. And oh, here's... look at that. Wait, I just yeah. want to admire the double auger. A double auger. Baby. For no snow. For no snow. For no snow. And we, we got it uh, we've got it dialed in so that we've got about an inch and a quarter uh, ground clearance. Okay. Because we've got the gravel driveway and it's not frozen. Yeah. So hopefully we'll not spit out a ton of the, the gravel. And this was my first process improvement. This was a bolt. Uh -huh. And this, this controls how uh, the chute is down Angled. or up. Yeah. And so now it's just a cotter pin. Uh huh. And then you pull this off uh -huh. and reposition it and put the cotter pin back in. Nice. In order to move all of the attachments into the pole barn, we first have to take the snowblower off. So that is step next. So is this going to be your first time ever taking this off? Yes, I I know a little bit about what I'm doing. Okay, but not, I, uh, not I'm everything. going to get it all in its first time glory. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that. It's this, okay. and this is the PTO belt. Okay. Because this tractor doesn't have a mechanical PTO. Okay. It has a uh, pulley and belt system. Okay. So this releases the tension on the belt, and then you can see that I've loosened that belt right I here. see, it used yes. to be on here, now yep. it's here. Okay. So that's right. the first step. Then I think the second step is to detach the hydraulics. Okay. And that's why I have my paper tally, because why dribble on your shiny new gizmo? There's one. Uh-huh. Two. Okay. Even the simple stuff, first time. So. Oh, I know. Figuring it out, and then I don't know where these 
Yeah, he so, had a place for them. On the other implements, I don't see little holes on this one. So we'll just put them here. Okay. All right, so then that's that. Then, if memory serves me right, I have to come over here. Yeah. To the, so this is the lock position, and I need to move this to the unlock position. Okay. Remembering to push this button. What that, does that button do? That releases this so that I'm not fighting against a mechanical oh, I see. lock. Okay, so all right, let's see. all right. Let's see how that works. Okay, so I lift that up, and then I get over here, and then there it is. Okay. Lift this up like that. There it goes. Okay. That felt good. Now we're gonna come. We're gonna come back over here. Okay. And see, did I in fact? Yep. So now I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that in the dark, but see this. Yeah. Right here. This was down in hooking this, Got one on each it. side. Yes. So now I'm free. In theory, in theory, we've got a 74.3% chance that when I back this up, the implement stays where it is and doesn't come with the tractor. Okay. All right, so that gives us about a 25% chance, give or take, yeah. that you drag this across our garage floor and scratch it all up. Yes. Okay, I'm excited to see what happens. Hey, you and me both. Now it's time for me to move my new lawn tractor because we need to move it so that we can get to the implements. I'll uh, I'll get uh, up to the garage. Yeah. But then, since we're complete noobs, yeah, uh, it'll be helpful to have you giving me directions on how to get aligned with the attachment points. Oh, I'm not good at that. Maybe I should drive. <laughs> <laughs> implement off second implement on yep little messing back and forth back and forth back and forth since it's the first time yep and the two by twelves that we put at the back of the pole barn critical that critical because that's what will prevent these from sliding forward. sliding forward yes so we'll just be able to push it into the two by twelve yep and solid knock it in okay so just out of curiosity yeah how long did that take us do you think five minutes Five minutes? Wait, not six hours plus a sledgehammer? Correct. Oh, this right? is great. It is good. I was thinking that we could put these tires yep. in this bucket and take it down to the pole barn. Okay. Okay? Okay. That means you have to hook up the hydraulics. Yeah, that's what it means. So this particular implement is our bucket and grapple. Um, and you'll see that this grapple, this black stuff here, this tilts up and down and that can like grab hold of logs and stuff and, and haul them around. It's also good for grabbing brush and moving brush from one place to the next. Right. So we think this is gonna get quite the workout around here. Yes, I'm excited about this for sure. Theoretically, it's all set up. Okay. And I can pull it out. I'm just going to stay out of the way in case you accidentally, you know, run over me. Yes, that would be a good idea. Okay. All right. Nice. 
Gonna show the people you show the this people. is the belt system and uh, not all the implements use the belt system but this one does look at this piece this is the tough cut and this thing has three big uh like lawnmower kind of blades like uh brush hog blades like brush hog blades yeah. and they're just gonna go through everything am i right steve that is the, they, we call this the buckthorn blaster the buckthorn blaster yeah, yeah baby so what's the problem here steven you did not get the video <laughs> of me getting it lined up and put in and secured all in one fall swoop yeah you're getting better and that you've only like, done this three times that was less than a minute this is going to be so much better. Two and thumbs up. Does it feel more secure to you? Oh, yeah. Way yeah. more stable. Because it sure looks like you're riding much closer to the ground. Yes. I mean, I feel, it's much more. I feel nice and squat.